I'm going to demonstrate today an exercise that I love for the back. It's called the Pilates Swimmer. I'm going to demonstrate three different variations of this wonderful exercise. So the first thing I'm going to do is lie on my stomach on the floor. I've got my legs about shoulder width apart. I've got my arms about shoulder width apart. The first progression of this exercise is just simply to lift my legs and hold it. So I am engaging my glutes, holding, squeezing them together while I'm here. And then I'm going to come all the way back to the mat. I'm going to do that again. Lift up and squeeze. Now while I'm here, I'm going to add a little lifted chest so that I'm adding a little more lower back work in there. I'm adding a little pressure on the floor, so I'm engaging my upper back. And I'm going to come all the way back down. Now I'm going to leave my upper body on the floor. I'm going to lift my legs and I'm going to add a swimmer kick right here. I'm being careful to look down at the floor rather than up. It's a better position for the vertebrae in the neck. And I'm going to relax back down. I'm also making sure that when I lift my legs, I'm getting my knees completely off of that floor. So I'm lifting again and kicking. Fluid movements. Engaging the hamstrings as well as the glutes. Coming back down again. The final step in the swimmer is to add the arms and the legs. They're both going to be swimming. So go ahead. I'm going to lift my legs, lift my arms, and do a flutter swim right here. Making sure I'm looking down at the mat. Nice deep breaths, never holding my breath. And I'm gonna relax back down. Short pause and then I'll do two more sets like that. My legs are up, arms are up, and I'm swimming. And back down to the mat. One more final set of the full Pilates swimmer. Legs up, arms up, and swimming. And relax back down. And that's how you do the Pilates swimmer. Thank you. Thanks for joining Pilates with Sherry. I'll see you next time.